Netflix loses 35% in a single day. Is the world coming to an end, or do they just not have very good shows anymore? Here's everything you need to know the week of April 26, 2022. Shares of streaming giant Netflix plunged 35% last Wednesday after their earnings report revealed that they lost 200,000 subscribers in the first quarter of 2022. Couple of key things to note here. That is the first time in over a decade that Netflix has lost subscribers on a quarterly basis. Even though they have more than 200 million subscribers worldwide, the trajectory being downward is something to very much consider because streaming services are not something that people really cancel on a regular basis. What this shows is that the American public is starting to think much harder about how they spend their hard-earned money. Are we headed towards a recession? At some point, is it going to happen right now? I have no idea. And what does this have to do with the housing market? Most of us have fears of 2008 and the Great Recession. And so when we hear the word recession, we think of housing, we think of collapse in the housing market, bursting bubbles, all kinds of stuff. The reality is the Great Recession was tied directly to the housing market in the form of exploding adjustable rate mortgages, fraudulent lending practices, uh, fraudulent ratings agencies, mortgage-backed securities and derivatives, all kinds of things that led to an inflated bubble that eventually exploded. The reality is, though, most recessions do not involve housing, and in five of the last six recessions, housing prices in America continued to increase. I say that to say, turn off the news, get rid of the noise. The reality is, at some point, we will be in a recession, contraction, call it what you want, and in most recessions in America, hard assets like real estate are the place to put your money. Stop watching your 401k wither away. Stop watching your portfolio dwindle. Please don't rely on crypto as there are no applications for it right now that would make any sense during recession. And understand that while rates are continuing to go up just a little bit, they'll probably settle around right here meaning that speculative buyers will most likely get out of the market, making way for real home buyers and more options, more inventory. And moving your money into a hard asset like real estate is a great way to preserve your capital and continue to grow your wealth, even in an economic downturn. So fear not the big R word, the housing market is going to continue to be strong just based on the normal market internals of supply and demand. Builders are still playing catch up, trying to bring more supply to the market. And while rates have ticked up in the last few weeks, they are competitive still historically, and you can get great deals on housing as inventory continues to rise. That's everything you need to know the week of April 26, 2022. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, give your favorite Livian DFW agent a call. We will see you next week. 